Before we begin, this video was made purely for entertainment. If you harass anyone from this video, you're a furry, just like me. Ping here, looking for Left 4 Dead Gamers. These guys hunted down our personal Discord. It all started on a fine summer afternoon when a group of lads decided that they want to play some Left 4 Dead Versus. But here's the problem. We needed eight people. We only had six ready to play. So one of them posted a Steam discussion. That was me. Looking for hot gamers to play Left 4 Dead Versus with. Me when your mum. <laughs> Remember this next detail, there was a link to our private Discord server. Time passed, and no one really posted anything. Then, we came up with an idea. What if we went into Left 4 Dead Discord servers and posted it there? We only needed two people. We ended up with no responses on any of those looking for groups channels. Then, we made it onto the Back for Blood subreddit Discord server, and while we did what anyone would, if they are as desperate as we were. We posted in a general chat, and soon, things got really interesting. Isn't there a server for LF4D verse? Yes, it's here. Join verses, please. Oh no, they retarded. Thinking the random people might be a bad idea. And one of the admins joined in as well. Huh? Play left for the verses, bro. I think he's asking for- Long nobody plays B4B. This is a social server. Is this some sort of a raid? Don't play with randoms. Sorry, but yes, they all are a clearly trolly. Imagine having such a little to do that this pass is easy entertainment. We actually need people. Please. We have so little to do, because we can't play Left 4 Dead Versus. Shut up. Your name is Phil? You have an anime profile picture. You have no rights. <laughs> it's not anime, it's cyberpunk. Lol says the furry. Furry shoot up. Furry stupid. And we threw in some references from a game we liked. Somebody! And it got stale for a bit until someone posted a link to my YouTube. Which, honestly, man, not forgot that not even had it linked. It was probably posted to make fun of me. Because, you know, when someone links their YouTube channel and posts about it, clearly they're embarrassed of their YouTube channel and they won't want anyone to post it in a Discord server with thousands of people. But what can you expect from a Pepe profile picture? I'd also like to mention the fact that some of the people that were with us posted the N-word on a server, which is something that we don't condone. And those actions don't represent us. Left forward, dead too. This is a little bit better. Some of those people from the Back for Blood Discord server join my public server, and not that I have anything against it, but then they posted some funny gifs. And personally, I found it hilarious, but it is a public server with rules, so to the void with them. And the owner of the Back for Blood server messaged me about a person who posted the N-word on their server, and they told me to ban him on my server. First, why are you telling me this? I'm not responsible for other people's actions. And he paid for it. You banned him. And second, how about you ban people that are in your server for breaking rules in my server? See how ridiculous it sounds? Also, your argument about them trolling back, it doesn't really work, because what me and a couple of other people did can hardly qualify as trolling. Most of us, it was more like we're half memeing and half actually finding two more players. So I find that to be a bit hypocritical on your side, but it's like, whatever. Then, something really interesting happened. After most of us were either kicked or banned from the Back for Blood server, the people in that Discord found my Steam discussion post and joined our private Discord server. And things took a turn for the unexpected. We made some new friends and finally got that epic versus victory royale. Now I suppose uh, the lesson 
that you should take from this video is no matter how toxic some people may get, there will always be chill folk who like playing the Flat Versus.